backstage. You need to pick a family. All right, we're back. It's our final game of this weekend's family team marathon, and we've got our second ten thousand dollar win. Let's see if we can make it three. Oh, you want to hear another dumb answer uh, Mikey gave earlier, Jay? Name something specific you'd see at a bingo game. He said strippers. Mikey. That's only if you're playing strip bingo. Yeah. But every time I see theme park, they just strip down your mom. Mikey, that's gross. <laughs> that's going to be the source of my nightmare tonight. <laughs> Mikey, I do not want to see you here. They're from Sacramento. <laughs> and they describe themselves as being talkative and delicate. I never want to see you Let's naked, Let's hear it Mikey. for them. Family oh, number one. Good. They're from South Dakota. And they describe themselves as lucky, but mostly cheerful. Give it up for family number two. These two families and yes, Jay, once again, one month from today, around this time, feud. I will be staying at a hotel and close to Love Field Airport the in Dallas. Feud, Louis Anderson. And the next morning, I'm on a plane that'll leave from uh, Love Field Airport. To Logan it's International Airport. I've got the question. You've got the answers. Let's have some fun. It's coming. It's coming. Four and a half weeks, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, here's our first round of our final game of this weekend's Family Feud Marathon. Fifty people surveyed twice. That's a hundred people. We got top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. Are you ready? Yes. Give me another name for clergyman. Another name for clergyman? A preacher. What do you think it is, family number one? Mikey, the only thing you like preaching about is strip bingo. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? I think I'm going to go preach at the pulpit about strip bingo. Oh, Mikey. Please don't. Very good. But there's two up there that can beat it. Next family gets a chance. Mikey, I'm a, I'm not Catholic. Okay, family number two. Another name for clergyman speaks with God. Good answer. Good answer. Is it That's up there? three words, not one word. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. What are you going to do? Play? You going to play? All right. At the end of this game, watch this video. Make sure you have clean drawers. Got it. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Well, my drawers should be clean tonight anyway because there's no dirty fortune. Give me another name for clergy. All right, let's see if it's on the board. Excellent. Exactly. I went with pastor, I have preacher. My next answer is going to be minister. Yeah. That's clear. That's clear. You went with, you, you went with priest? Yes. Give me another name. Wait, no, 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 I haven't. No, I haven't. I'll go with priest next. Yeah. I hope it's up there for you. I'll go with that next. Minister is number one. Minister. Minister. Yeah. Our top end. I will go with priest, go. Jay. Priest. Priest. Another player. Yeah. You need another answer. I'm thinking it is. Should be. Give me another name for clergyman. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. 
We got it. Right on. Thank you, Jay York. You sure nailed that one. Well done. Give family number one those points. Survey says we're off and running in game four. That's the end of round one. Let's see how both families are doing. Let's have what's behind the bar counter. Well done, family number one. Let's go. It's time for round two. We surveyed 100 people. You know, it's always 100 people, never 90. Top six answers are up on the board. Try to give the most popular one. You ready to do this? Name something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. Oh, I've seen this question before. I got this. Your answer, family number one. I want to see that answer. All right, show me. Sleep. Oh, it's number four. Cool. It's up there, but there yeah, are several that can be it. Yes. Next family. Okay, family number two. Concentrate. Is it there? Show us. Show us. We are going to play. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top six. Are you going to play? Family number one is going to play. Better believe it. Next player. Let's go. Name something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. Is it there? Let's see. Drink. Woohoo! You got it! Our number one answer! Our number one answer! Yeah! Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. Right on. Exactly. Next player. Let's go. Name something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. All right, show me that answer. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. I want to see that answer. Yeah! Exactly. Next player, what's your guess? Name something that's difficult to do on a turbulent air flight. Let's see if it's up there. Yep, another clean sweep. Right on. Clean sweep. 
Didn't give anyone a chance on that one. All right, family number one, you got the points. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. You've got a commanding lead. Okay, it's round three. Let's go. I need two more players up here. Let's go. Yeah. A hundred people surveyed. We've got their top five answers up there. Good luck. Everybody ready? Name a woman famous for being weighted down by jewelry. Famous woman being weighted down by jewelry? I'm gonna pass on this one. What is it? I'm gonna skip the survey and try an easier one. Let's try another question. Fifty people surveyed twice. That's a hundred people. We got top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. Are you ready? Name something that attracts a crowd on a street. Oh, I've seen this one before. Name something that attracts a crowd on a street. Your answer, family. I would say um an accident. Survey says. Auto accident. Yes, indeed. Our top answer. Way to go. Yeah. Play. Family number one is going to play. Another player. We need another answer. something that attracts a crowd on a street. I want to see that answer. Excellent. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Next family member. What do you say? something that attracts a crowd on the street. Okay, show me the answer. Yep. One answer left. Absolutely. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? something that attracts a crowd on a street. Survey said. We got it again. Yes, indeed. Right. Way to go. In fact, the survey question we just answered was in the season premiere for this past uh, January. Yeah, family number one, those points. Are we ready for round four? Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. 276 to a goose egg. Remember, families, it's anybody's game. The last round will decide. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. A member from each family. Let's go. A 
A hundred people surveyed. Top six answers up on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Good luck. Yeah. Both families ready? Yeah. Name a dish you're sure to find at just about every potluck dinner. I thought I'd say pasta. Pasta. What do you think it is, family number one? All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Excellent. Good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next family. What do you think it is, family number two? Banana pudding? Right. Let's see if it's I right. highly Ooh. doubt it. And I'm gonna pass the question. As he passes. Oh. oh well. Not up there, sorry. We need a decision. Play or pass. All right, family number two is gonna play. On a side note, hey chat. Oh, that's <laughs> I figured you didn't. Name a dish you're sure to find at just about Chop every suey? potluck dinner. What? Chop there for suey? You. What? False. Jeez. <laughs> oh, strike one. I'm sorry. Up Next here. family. Right. You Chop can steal. Suey? Next time we get out. Next player, what's your guess? I'm gonna try salads. Name a dish you're sure to find at just about every potluck dinner. Nope. I'll say chicken. Is it there? Show us! We got it! Absolutely. So Mikey's going first, and Jay said he wants to go second, so I'm going to let that happen. Yes. Family number one gets the point. You're absolutely going second. What was our most popular answer? What was in third place? Potato salad. What was in the fifth spot? Beans. The sixth Casserole. Most answer. Meatloaf. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. All right, Mikey, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Both families played well, but only one could go on to the fast money round. Family number one. It's our fast money round. Pick two players from your family to play. Our last fast money of this weekend. Yep. Here we go, Mikey. I'm ready. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. All right, Mikey. How many times a day does a woman put on lipstick? Uh, one time. All right. Name Tell something name something that people use, use their basements for. for. Uh, Good. Name, name a country that produced great, great composers. composers. Uh, Sweden. Sweden. All right. Sweden or Switzerland? Neither one is showing up. Uh, USA. All right. <laughs> Name an occupation that takes courage. Police officer. It's dumb answer time. 
Let's see the question first. Oh! Oh boy. I don't know. Hang on to your seats, everybody. Mikey? Yeah. <laughs> Name a fabric used for wedding dresses. Uh, <laughs> what? 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 Let's see how you feel. <laughs> how many times it's a day did you put on lipstick? He said one survey said two. That's alright. Name something that people use their basements for. He said storage. It got 50. Name a country that produced great composers. He said the good old US of A. Survey said five. Name an occupation that takes courage. You said a police officer. Survey said... 40! And Mikey, what do you think your dumb answer got? Got that right. All right, Jay. Mikey got you 97 Same points. Same questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish the All you need is 103. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Tell me how many times a day does a woman put on lipstick? How many Price. times a day Good. does a woman put on lipstick? Name something, something that, that people, people use their, their basements, basements for. for. Um, entertainment. All right. Like a movie theater or something. Cinema. All right. It's not up there. Uh, want to try again? Or oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I'll try just theater. See if that works. I tried entertainment. It's not there. I'll start theater. No, it's not working. Man cave. Not showing up either. All right. Name, Name a country, country that, that produced, produced great, great composers. composers. Austria. There you go. <laughs> Name an occupation that, that takes, takes courage. courage. Would you have said Germany, chat? No, I would have said Russia. Oh. An occupation that takes courage, Jay. Oh, yeah, Tchaikovsky, yeah. Firefighter, and now name a fabric name a used fabric for wedding dresses. wedding dresses. Lace. Good. Did we do it? Let's see how you did. How many times a day does a woman put on lipstick? You said twice. Our survey said nine. Yeah. Name something that people use their basements for. Storage, number one. You said a bedroom. Our survey said two. Dang. Well. Name a country that produced great composers. You said Austria. What survey said 22. Germany was number one. Not said. That takes you said a firefighter. Our survey said 32. Yep. Yeah, Did enough <laughs> people say lace? How many? 23. Silk. 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 No, sorry. Well, it's nice all right. You're still but Mikey, family, though. you know what's coming. Yeah. Well, have any last words? Uh, uh, Set speed to 69 jillion miles per hour. Chat, do the honors. Thanks so much for playing Family Feud. Fuck off! <laughs> and we're going to wrap it up for this weekend's Family Feud Marathon. We'll be back again next Saturday for more. Stick around, folks. See you next time.